Hey everybody, this is Doug with Hissy Fit Reptiles. Today I'm going to go through uh, some of my breeding cycle stuff that I do. Uh, part of it being ultrasounding to check for follicle growth. And uh, before I get to that part though, I'll just going to show you here. I currently have cards on any of the females that I've had locks with. So the Desert Ghost has been breeding with most of the females. And so anytime he locks up with him and I see a confirmed lock, I'll mark down what day that he's bred with her. So uh, Killer Glass is locked up with him five times. Uh, past out potion um, four times soul sucker five times so on and so forth so um, and my bumblebee specter actually just locked up with the past ivory for the first time um, a few days ago so pretty excited about that uh, he did it right after the desert ghost locked up with her literally a few days earlier so anyways I um, keep track of him that way and then I have an ultrasound machine here that I had gotten about a year and a half or so ago and kind of fell into it. It's pretty cool. Uh, I know a guy who does some scrapping stuff and he got it from a hospital and gave it to me free of charge actually. So I have this really awesome ultrasound machine. I don't know how it all works. There's no instruction manuals I got with it or anything. So I, I can do the basic stuff that I need it for. Um, but, but yeah, so no further ado, I'm going to pull out a couple of snakes and we'll ultrasound them so I can see how they're doing growth wise. Um, this one right here, the killer glass female. So she's actually getting pretty close. Um, I just, I actually just um, checked all these girls here a couple of days ago and they're all pretty well in line to, um, a few of them are ready to go probably pretty soon. So, um, what I need to do is I need to make sure I have the right probe on, and then I put the. The gel on here. So then what I do, I put that on the snakes. You, Jamie, you want to get on here? Actually, show this part too. So what I do here is find it on the screen, and now if you go on to onto the screen right there. I don't know how well you could tell I'm going to freeze this. Right there. She's actually um, about ready to go. She's at about 35 millimeters. So what I'll do is I'll at that point come down here with a measure set the starting point So right there's 40 millimeters. And then I just kind of go on the other side just to see. And it's not going to be exact, but about 40, 41 millimeters or so for her. So she's um, in pretty close. And then, um, just getting the wipe them up then afterwards with the, the rag or whatever but yeah she's she's getting pretty close to um, to going in here so I've been monitoring her follicle growth ever since she was at about 18 15 18 millimeters uh, this one right here is the pastel ivory And she's got smaller follicles. Maybe put a little bit more stuff on, and I just gotta unfreeze it and take my stuff off of there. So this one you'll be able to tell a bit easier. You can see the actual beads there. So as you go on here, you can actually see those. Is the camera picking that up, Damien, or? Yeah, right there. And then I'll freeze that. See, and I, this is about where I'm at in her body. She didn't even finish all that. So I'm about right here, kind of on the lower third part, third of her body. So um, now that I got a good sense of of those, 
back on the screen here. I'm going to take again the measurement. Start with one of them here. And we'll just start we'll go with that middle one here. And start a set point here. And then the other one. Alright, so again, it's not going to be 100% accurate because it might be off a little bit, and this is by centimeters on here, but you just figure, uh, if you take away the decimal point, and figure 20 millimeters and 18 millimeters. So she's between 18 and 20 millimeters on follicle growth for her right now, and um, I believe when I palpated her, she was tight, she was tightening up, and I could only feel like five, 5 in her at the time, but... Um, Last year she laid seven, so she might be some more energy. Like in the end, she was getting kind of tense and stuff, so I was able to do a good feel on her. And then I also couldn't get a good ultrasound read on her all the way down her body, so I, I am um, not 100% sure how many are in here. I just know that she's got some follicle growth, so which is really great. Um, next up here, we're gonna do the soul sucker, who's getting pretty close. Um, I'm not gonna do the pastel potion or the or the Orange and yellow belly because neither one of those are uh, even that close. Uh, I haven't found any follicle growth in them at all yet, so it'll just be kind of a waste of time to, to do that. So, so the soul sucker is getting pretty close to herself. So she's got some pretty good size. As you can see right there, a lot bigger. A lot of it's just moving stuff around. Freeze up. Again, that's the lower part of her body. She's pretty good size. She's got a pretty good swell going on here. Um, not quite to an ovulation stage yet, but let's see if she'll stay. Stay still. I might, I'm actually just going to put her away because she's getting. Let's see. I don't want her to fall off the table. But those are hers. Again, we'll take a measurement then. Normally I'd, I write these down, but I wrote them down just the other day, so we'll still go with this one. Again, pretty good size. So yeah, about 29, 30 millimeters for her follicle growth, which is pretty good. Um, probably don't need to pair anything with her anymore. Uh, the Desert Ghost pa paired up with her um, five or six times. Oops, I'm sorry. Um, six, five or six times or so. Um, so she's probably good to go. The last time I paired anything with her, with the Desert Ghost locked up with her on the 12th of March, and that was just about a week and a half ago. Um, so being you know, that she's at this at this uh, point in her follicle growth, probably don't need to pair anything with her anymore. But um, one last one we'll do is the pinstripe pet desert ghost. Alright, now she's kind of getting close here as well. So that, that really good size there. You can see it's more of an egg shape. That's how close she is. So again, it's kind of a bulge here. It's getting almost looks like she might be ovulating. Um, every year, whenever it comes to my first ovulation, I always kind of forget what it looked like from the previous year, and then I mistakenly think that each time I see their body a little bit bigger, I think it's an ovulation, but then all of a sudden when you actually do see the ovulation, you just know it looks like they swallowed a football or whatever, or like a, a super jumbo rat. 
but um, I'll put her in here as well because she is getting antsy. So, take a look at how big that is. And if you want to show on here, I'm just going to show. So basically, I put measurement, and then I put an X, and then I roll this ball. Set point. I had to figure this all out on my own. Like I said before, I didn't have anybody show me this, and I don't have any, um, don't have any um, instruction manual because this came from a, a OBGYN clinic. So, um, and then I do the next set point. And yeah, about 38 to 40 millimeters. So between her and the killer blast, they should be both of them should be ready to go around the same time. Um, so that's like I said, that's more of an egg shape. You notice the pastel ivory um, and the soul sucker had more of a circular shape, where this is actually more getting to be the egg shape now. So. Really excited. Uh, four females. It's double than what I had last year. Last year I had two females go for me out of the three that I had breeding. This year I have six females currently breeding. And out of those six, four of them are so far uh, producing follicles and she'll be ready to go uh, within the next few months, hopefully. Um, if not sooner, a couple of them. So, really excited. Uh, again, the Desert Ghost male paired up with the Killer Blast, Pastel Mystic Potion, Soul Sucker. Orange Dream Yellow Belly and the Pinstripe Het Desert Ghost. So this is the only chance I have on getting um, visual Desert Ghost babies is with the Pinstripe Het Desert Ghost. Um, and everything else will be 100% Het Desert Ghost that I paired her, him with. And then the Pastel Ivory, like I said, I paired him with her one time just to kind of spark her a little bit. And then the Bumblebee Spectre locked up with her literally two days later. So I'm hoping the Bumblebee Spectre uh, is the one that gets her so that way uh, I can end up with some really cool super stripe combos but if I end up with a clutch that has no no qualities of the male then I'm just going to assume that it's uh, I'll have to assume that it's uh, Desert Ghost that got her so but yeah really excited if you guys have any questions or anything feel free to comment below uh, email me at hissyfitreptiles at gmail.com um, also been trying to update my website with some stuff um, hissyfitreptiles.com and um, also feel free to contact me through Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube, um, and follow me on those as well if you want to stay up to date with what's going on here at His Secret Reptiles. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching, and hope to see you guys soon, or hear from you guys soon if you're interested in anything. So, thanks a lot.